today I am doing a video on the brand new MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks. These are like a brand new formula and I was in Paris recently with MAC. I just want to get out of there. This video is not sponsored. I'm going to say that straight away. I'm not expected to do this video at all but I am just having a lot of fun with these lipsticks and I thought I would do a lip swatch video showing all of the shades to you and I also asked you on Instagram if you wanted to see this and most of you said yes. So this is for you guys. The lighting just got a bit dark. I'm using natural lighting today so hopefully you can see the colors the best. So the lipstick I'm wearing right now is called Soul Sultriness. I do have a little bit of lip gloss kind of mixed in. I just apply a bit more so you can see like the true color. It reminds me a little bit of like Snob by MAC or like you know just your cool tone kind of pinky shade. It's a really really nice one. So yeah I went over to Paris with MAC like how cool and this was one of the new products they showed us and I was so excited because I love MAC lipsticks. You guys know I have a very healthy collection and these are like a brand new formula so basically what they are is a kind of soft matte finish. You'll see it better when I apply them without the lip gloss. I'm going to take this off and show you them just on bare lips. It's kind of like almost a dusty, um, like really buttery, soft matte finish. So it's not super drying. It's actually very creamy. But because they're not super drying, I do find that these do not last as long. But the reason I like them is they're really comfortable to wear. They're kind of like one of those lipstick formulas you can just chuck on. You don't have to be careful. You don't have to think about it. And they wear off really nicely. They don't leave like much of a stain at all. They're just like easy. Like that's the key word for me. Like they're so easy to wear and easy to apply. And the scent of these ones isn't like the other MAC lipsticks that's vanilla. This is more like fruity and it actually like tastes fruity. And you can do a really cool like ombre kind of look with these if you're familiar with like Korean beauty trends that like really faded like ombre look like these are perfect because you can blend them out with a brush or with your finger or with a beauty blender or something like that and it gives like a really diffused finish so they're quite cool you can use them in a variety of different ways which I really like um and I think they're 16 I actually had to take them out of the cute little packaging Matt gave me because it was so heavy for my suitcase to bring back to New Zealand so they're all kind of just like sitting here in my clutch right now um hopefully I've got all of the shades here for you because I want to show you like every single one. One thing I did notice like I haven't tried them all on yet but I just like flipped through the colors. One thing I did notice is a lot of them are quite pale. There's not a lot of like deep like purple tones or anything like that. Like they're all very like wearable colors. There's no dark colors really. Like there's, I mean, there's definitely deeper ones, but I don't know. You'll see what I mean when I try them on. They're all very soft. I'm just gonna jump straight in and try them on for you. And according to Google, these are coming out on October 11th, I think in America. Probably here in New Zealand. I'm sure we won't get them for ages. But anyway, keep your eye out for them regardless because they are pretty good. These are like very gentle on your lips as well. Like usually I'm scared to do a lip swatch video using like a million different shades but because these are such a like, they almost feel like a lip balm to be honest. You know, they don't stick to your lips hard out. They're just so like chill. I don't know how to describe them. Like I said, they're just easy. They don't like hurt when you take them off or anything. So I'm going to line them all up and kind of go lightest to darkest. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately I have one double up, so I'm missing one shade, I have no idea what shade I'm missing, but I guess we'll soon find out. So hopefully if you guys are searching this video, I'm going to swatch the one you want to see. I'm going to start with the paler shade. So this one is called Best of Me. This is so pale. Even I love a good pale nude, but wow. Let's try it on. I haven't tried this before. See this one? Like it's so, okay. This is probably going to be like one I don't like. I feel like this is going to be one of those shades that you would buy it to mix with other shades because personally like <laughs> and it just like goes on like kind of chalky looking this is not typical of this formula not from the ones i've tried so far i've worn four of the shades well that's that one i would never personally go for this shade personally but if you're looking for something to do like an ombre lip or something like that perhaps you'll find it helpful once again that is called best of me this is going to be my new everyday color next up we have this shade called influentially wait inf influentially yeah, I think that's it. Influentially it. That's kind of a tongue twister. This is a little bit darker, but still a very pale nude, but perhaps a little bit more wearable for most of us. Yeah, this formula is more like what I have experienced with this line. The other one was definitely like very chalky. This one is so creamy. They apply like a cream finish. That's why I was so shocked when I tried them on. I thought they'd be quite like draggy, you know, like a really matte lipstick, but they go on almost like a lip balm and they just taste so good. Like it's really, obviously you're not going to like eat your lipstick, but it does taste good. I think they said something about these were set in a stone, I 
think this is right, a stone mold rather than like whatever they normally use. I don't know. I don't know what Mac uses. But it makes the um, stick really sharp so you can get a nice sharp line. You just get that really like buttery soft finish it's not super like dry matte looking it's a very creamy like soft diffused kind of matte look so that one there is called influentially it i think that's how you pronounce it i'm a bit confused i just dropped one <laughs> next up let's do the shade i've not tried this either this is called my tweety this looks so pretty it's kind of like a muted peachy nude oh yeah that is stunning so obviously I'm just applying them like a full like, coverage for the swatch video so you can see the colour but you can kind of like apply them quite sheer like if I go like that you can kind of like use your finger to blend them in and get that really balmy stained effect or do the ombre like if you <laughs> I can't do this while talking if you focus it on that inner lip you can get that like ombre look but I like the full coverage look on myself they're very very easy to wear like that's why I like this formula it's definitely like one of my favorites to be honest the only thing like I said is they do not last for a long long time on me you could definitely just pair them up with a lip liner though I haven't tried that yet so yeah this one is called my Tweety I love it it's just like the perfect everyday like peachy color I'm just like keeping my drawer open so I can put my favorites away as I go so I just put that one away because I definitely want to keep that one and then the ones that I'm not gonna really wear all sanitizing send off for someone else to use. Next up, let's do the shade Impulsive. This one is more of like a brown based nude. Oh, look how buttery that is. It's so smooth. I definitely think like typically these feel a lot less heavy than other MAC lipstick formulas. Like you can't actually feel it when it's on your lip. I love this one. I feel like this is gonna be one of the like popular ones. Just like the perfect everyday deepish nude on my skin tone of course it's going to change if you have a darker skin tone than me but i really like this one so once again it is called impulsive next up let's do the shade mullet over i have worn this one before this is more of just like a pinky kind of like everyday shade like a very muted color a very like muted peachy pink almost um just yeah perfect everyday shade it will go with like any makeup look and will look very pretty on a lot of different skin tones as well so yeah once again that one's called mullet over sorry if the lighting changes a little bit i'm trying to keep it like i don't know as realistic depth wise as i can um it's a little bit difficult with the sun coming in and out but i just don't want to use artificial lighting i feel like natural is best for lip swatch videos so let me know your feedback like I don't know. Anyway, this one is called Devoted to Chili. This one I actually tried on at the event and I posted a picture wearing it, I'm pretty sure, on my Instagram. But this is like one of the darker kind of like terracotta kind of nudes, but it's not a nude. Yeah, like a brightish kind of terracotta, like that kind of peachy brick undertone. Kind of a terrible application, but that's the color. This would look so good on people with deeper skin tones, medium deeper skin tones. Oh my god, why am I choking? I literally just started choking over nothing. Wow. I really like it on my skin tone as well. I wouldn't normally pair it up with like yellow eye makeup. But yeah, it's a really, really nice shade. Just really flattering. Still wearable even though it's kind of bright and deeper. You know what I mean? Once again, it's called Devoted to Chili. Okay, now let's backtrack back to like some pinky shades. So there's like some lighter pinks, this being the lightest one. And then like a couple of deeper and brighter shades as well. So this one here is called Scattered Petals. Ooh. This is pretty. This particular shade is ever so slightly patchy. I feel like it would do a little bit better with a lip pencil, but the actual shade itself, I'm obsessed with it. And even with this eye makeup, I think it's so cute. It's like super girly and fresh. So I love it. <laughs> I actually really like this shade. This is called Scattered Petals once again. So definitely keeping that one. I love how like soft and like kissable it makes your lips look as well. Like it's such a nice finish. Next up is the one from the beginning of the video. This is Sultriness. I think that's what, yeah, Sultriness. And this is like a really cool tone pink. I actually like the previous pink better than this one. So I kind of wish I wore it for like this tutorial. I did a tutorial on this makeup. So yeah, just a really pretty slightly cool tone pink. I think if you like Snob, you will love this one. It's just a really easy to wear pink. Once again, it's called a sultriness. It's very, very flattering on like my skin tone. I feel like if you're paler or a little bit darker, it'll look good. Not sure if you have like a very deep skin tone. I think the next one will be for you, which is this one right here. It's called A Little Tamed. I haven't tried it on yet, but just looking at it, oh, it looks pretty. This is like pretty bright, but super nice. It's kind of like a peachy undertone. Like a really nice warm pink. Probably not with this eye makeup once again, but wow, this just like screams at spring to me. 
This will look so gorgeous on deeper skin tones or just if you're paler like me, just like for a bold lip. It's so pretty. I really love this one. I want to wear this like in spring with just like simple eye makeup. Even like this eye makeup doesn't look terrible. I don't know. It's super pretty. Once again, that one is called A Little Tamed. The next pink is such a bright one. Like this is neon. Like if you look at my neon green, like these go together. Not necessarily, you know what I mean. They're like in the same kind of neon family. <laughs> this one is called Fall in Love and I'm so excited to try this on. Like you have no idea. It's quite a buildable one. You do one layer, look at this. And it's like, well all of them are buildable, but you know what I mean. It's like more wearable if you just put on a small layer and blend it out. It gives that stained effect or rub it on a bit more. It's like super neon. It's a very like wearable way to wear neon because it's not just like zero to a hundred. Yeah, it's like not even scary. Oh, this lighting's good. Okay, hold on. It's like super cloudy, but you can kind of see like the depth of it a little better. It's actually like surprisingly wearable for such a bright color. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like it or hate it? I'd love to hear. Fall in love is what that one is called. Look at me switching it up. <laughs> Let's do a little giveaway with my double up of the shade Impulsive, which is that beautiful like brown kind of one that I said I think will be like super popular. Just look at the down bar for the rules and I'll also send some other makeup as well. So it's not just like a single lonely lipstick. I'll send you like a bunch of random new makeup. So yeah into below. Okay next we've got like an orange, a coral, a red and then the like darker berry shades and these are like the darkest colors. This one's like more of a bright, the next one's kind of bright too but this one is called Style Shocked and I'm insanely excited to try this one on because you guys know how much I love orange lipstick. Like orange was like my favorite for so long and this is kind of like orange. It's like a beautiful deep orange. <gasps> yes. <laughs> like I'm sorry but this is just like a must have. Oh, it's so creamy and just like the most sexy color I've ever seen. Oh, literally I don't care how pale you are or if you have a deep skin tone, you need an orange in your life. Like they are just to die for. You just pair up a color like this, even like with this makeup it looks so cool, but especially with like a bronze smoky eye or simple eye makeup, wing liner, like whatever, warm bronze skin, highlighter, get the glow on like it's just like amazing this color is probably like one of my favorites so once again it is called style shocked and you need this one in your life it is so pretty next up we have mandarin O. to me this looks like a pinky kind of coral like a really bright coral yeah this is like definitely more pink on my skin tone with like that coral undertone I'm actually a massive fan of this one. I think it's absolutely incredible. That color is just like so spring. Oh, there's a spider on my window. Um, this is very spring. Like I can just imagine this in spring, bronze skin, highlighter, mascara. Like you don't even have to do much with this because it just really like brightens up your entire complexion. This is so pretty. That's just one layer. So obviously you can build them up. By the way, I still am going to do the Huda Beauty swatches and whatever else, I can't remember off the top of my head. But I was just so excited by this formula I had to share with you like ASAP, so hopefully you guys don't mind. This color is so me, like I love this. Once again, this is called Mandarin O. This is definitely another favorite of mine, I think. So next up is like the only kind of red shade. It's not even like a true red, it's almost like an electric, like neon coral red. Like it's not like pure red. And I was kind of shocked because I feel like MAC is known for reds, like you think of like Ruby Woo and stuff. But I mean, hey, whatever. Maybe it's just like the formula, like, I do think that this kind of formula is probably better with like those kind of brighter tones and like lighter tones because they're really cool to do ombre lips with. This is called Lasting Passion. And it's, yeah, definitely like, kind of like a pink undertone red. That is so pretty though. It's almost like quite a soft red look once it's on. It's definitely more like a pinky red, but it's, yeah, just really soft looking. I thought it was just gonna be like super neon and bright. Like it is bright, but I don't know how to describe the effect. I think this would look amazing if you wore like a deeper red lip liner with it and then kind of used it just to create an ombre. I like it. Once again, it's called Lasting Passion. Next up, we have the shade Shocking Revelation. This one is like a darker kind of berry shade. It's not the darkest berry. That would be the next one, but this one's definitely more pinky rather than like purpley. So yeah, it's probably one of the deepest like pinky shades. Wow, this one's like straight up just like 100% pigmented. It's not really like not sheer. You know what I mean? Like it's not as buildable as the other ones. This one would be very pretty in like an ombre, you know, like Korean style lip with just it in the inner part of your lip. 
beautiful shade it's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be it's like still very bright so yeah that one there is called shocking revelation what do you guys think do you like it or not I'm unsure our last shade is called burning love like I said I am missing one I think so that sucks obviously let's just a little mix up but yeah this is at burning love the last shade I have um, and it's yeah just like a deeper purple shade it's probably like the darkest deeper shade there is but I'm interested to see if it's bright when I apply it like the last one okay no this one is definitely more true to color it's just, like deep you could do like the ombre lip obviously I've done that terribly uh, you need to like put it all across but um yeah I would just wear complete full coverage I literally applied that so freaking terribly but you get an idea of the shade so once again that is called burning love the deepest shade so perhaps if you love a bold lip rather than something like so bright or if you have deeper skin it'd look beautiful when I went over to Paris and England I didn't take many lipsticks so I really like made myself try these out just experiment with them and yeah they're just very easy very comfortable not so long wear like I said so if you do like really need long wear maybe skip them or else pair them up with a lip pencil there's a few colors I'm not so stoked with but majority of them I really like so yeah let me know once again what your favorite one is down below and don't forget to enter the giveaway if you do want to go into win it will be open worldwide as always and yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe hit on those notifications and of course don't forget to thumbs up as well talk to you guys in my next video bye